Detroit Den 313. We are back. Stephen Will talking that Detroit Lions football. Before we get started, you know what to do. Bang that subscribe button and do not forget the bell icon so you don't miss any of our new content. Steve, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling a little nervous. I'm excited. Nervous. Let the people know what we're doing here. Well, if you can't tell by the screen share here, uh, we're going to be doing Will's mock draft. You guys aren't ready for mine. Mine will be out Wednesday morning. Today's all Will. It's Will's show. I'm just here for sex appeal, good conversation. I'm going to show you guys these sexy jerseys <laughs> that we are giving away to our members. Yes, if you sir. become a member of the Detroit Dead 313, we do jersey giveaways. If it's something you're interested in, it's a pretty little price to, to have a chance at winning some nice brand new jerseys. Think about it. I don't promote it too much on our shows. Just throwing it out there for you guys. If that's what you want to do, become a member. We're going to be doing some giveaways. But like I said, today's all about Will. It's Will's show. I'm just here for a little critiquing, um, a little input. But uh, this is Will's mock draft. Whatever he wants to do. If he wants to trade up, that's his decision. If he wants to trade back, his decision. He wants to stay put at 29. It's all about Will. So we're just going to get it rolling. As you can see, we're going to win seven rounds. Obviously, we're going to be the Detroit Lions. Will is in full control of the board. You guys are going to be able to see who we pick or who he picks. Uh, we're doing it a little different than we usually do. Usually we just kind of throw us a, a pick up there, but today we're going to let you guys see who was available for a little bit more insight for a little bit more dialogue. So you can see some of these studs that Will's going to be passing on. So Will, <laughs> whenever you're ready, fire it off. All right, let's get this thing rolling. It's time to draft guys. Here we go. All right, guys, immediately, immediately. The first thing that I'm doing is getting on this phone, getting on this phone. I probably already had a conversation with these guys, but my mindset is I want to be aggressive. I've said this numerous times. If you watched our previous episodes, I want to be aggressive. I want the world to remember the day that they were in Detroit watching the Detroit Lions just be villains, watching watching them make 31 other teams be salty. I'm calling the Carolina Panthers. And I am going to ask them to make a draft day trade. I'm giving up pick 61. I'm giving up a first round draft pick in 2025. I am giving up a fourth rounder in 2025. Why? Because I don't care about 2025. I don't care at all. The only thing that I care about is the Detroit Lions being great for the next decade. And I don't think we need pieces in 2025 to be great. I think we can get it done right now. I am giving up, like I said, a first rounder next year, a fourth rounder ne next year, and pick 61. And I want, in return, pick 33 and pick 101. Let's see what they have to say when they answer the phone. They love it. Unbelievable. I will tell you this. Talk this to is me. probably <laughs> this is probably where the critics come in right away. You're giving up a first rounder for a second round pick. I'm just saying, be prepared. It's coming. I already know how Lions fans think. But hey, listen, I see your line, mindset. I, I get what you're doing. I'm being aggressive, man. I'm being aggressive. I'm going after what I want. I'm not worried. Like I said, I'm not worried about 2025. You can have that. We're going to be picking 32 anyways. What does it matter? That you're moving up one slot. Like, let, let's go. So we're going to resume this draft. Let's kick it off and let's see what happens. Here we go. Rams offering me nonsense. It's a no. Tampa Bay, it's a no. Buffalo, it's a no. And now it's time for me to pick. Let's see who was on this board. Jackson Powers Johnson out there. Jackson Powers Johnson is there. Chop, Cooper DeJean, Xavier Worthy, Keon Coleman. All those guys are there. I'm going to get my guy. What do we say, Steve, here? Go get your man. Hey, Darius Robinson. Hey, we talked about him being an anchor. He's not twitchy. We talked about that. But he's a guy who can send everybody back to Aiden. I'm going to get Darius Robinson. You're staying at home, buddy. Your dreams are coming true. You wanted to be a Detroit Lions since you were a kid. We're going to have you. Come on home. Oh, shoot. I'm picking again, Steve. I'm picking again because Carolina decided to go take a first round pick next year. And now they got questions. Nope. We can't do business anymore. <laughs> we can't do business anymore. Seattle. No, I don't want to do business. Now, somebody who I am very high on and Steve is also very high on. We've talked about drafting him at pick 29 even because we're so high on him. Is that him sitting right there? Are you telling me, Steve, that we're going to live in a world where we got Darius, Darius Robinson and Ed Edrin Cooper on the same team? Because that's the world I'm living in. That's the world I'm living in. Unbelievable. It, I'm talking about being aggressive. I'm talking about give up the bag in 2025 to get the bag right now. Pick 73, Denver Broncos want to do business. We don't want to talk to you or Zach Wilson. It's a pass. It's a pass. <laughs> Zach nope. Wilson, stay away from my mom. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. We don't want the Cougar Slayer anywhere near us. <laughs> 
it's you know, now this thing gets juicy. Let's see who's out there. Ooh, Fisk is still out there. That's not real life. We're not going to touch that. Obviously, if that was a real thing, we'd take a look at it. But who is that looking me in the eye? Is it no other than the Roman Wilson, D4-3, the intelligence level, the football guy, play with a broken arm? Yep, you're going to come play for my team. Go blue, Roman Wilson on the Detroit Lions. Let's Couldn't go. even give him a shout-out as a national champion. Unbelievable. Yeah, he's, he's no longer a national champion. He's a future Super Bowl champion. Let's go. Let's go, Steve. I'm hey, man. I'm pumped up. We got that extra pick in the trade. We're picking at 101. Let's see who we got out there. Let's see who we got out there. We got some people out there. We got some people out there. Let's take a look. Let's take a look who's on the board here. Let's take a look. Um, see what corners are out there. Ooh, Kyrie Jackson. Can I hurt? Ooh, let's see. Let's see. I don't want to make any hasty decisions, though. I don't want to make any hasty decisions. We got a plan. Ooh, is that Mason McCormick? Is that Mason McCormick? Sure come on, is. home buddy. Come on, come on, home buddy. Come on, home buddy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Round five. You want to do business, Minnesota? No, we're gonna. We're too worried about winning the division. We don't want to help you guys out. We're not looking to help you guys out. Ooh, Zach Zinner still out there. Interesting. Mm. Interesting. So this is where I'm glad I put in my work. I'm glad I'm putting my work. Uh, Stiggers is out there. I like Stiggers, but there's a guy that's been interviewed by Detroit twice. If you've been paying attention, there's a guy that runs a four, three. There's a guy that is underrated because of his production, but has some skills. His name's Nehemiah Pritchett, Pritchett and he is going to come play for the Detroit Lions. He's going to be developmental, but I like his upside. Let's go, Nehemiah. Come play for the Detroit Lions. Come play for these Detroit Lions. We're back on the board here. Round six. Um, there's a few guys that I like here. Let's see what we have um, available here. Ooh, Sioni. Sioni out of Utah. Safety out of Utah. Played some running back. Played some safety. The dude is a Swiss Army knife. I think that he is going to immediately jump into this league and be an asset on special teams. If you want to do a fake punt, if you want to send him down to run down and make tackles, if you want him on kickoff, if you want him on uh, the, the punt team, it is a no-brainer. I need you on my team. Maybe in three, four years, you'll actually be able to contribute as a safety as well. Let's go. Come play some football for us. Um, Back on the board here at um, another pick in the sixth round. We're looking at two oh five. Let's see who we got. Let's let's see who's out there, because I do have a guy that I like here. Ooh, AJ, I do like AJ. AJ Barner. Oh Michigan yeah, man? I do like AJ. I like him a lot as a blocking tight end. We still got Brock though. We still got Brock, so I don't want to rush here. I don't want to rush and do anything too hasty here. Um, let's see what we got. What we got left. Is this our last one? Whoops. Let me see. Let's see what we got. All right. Let's go back. Bang. You have another pick at 249. Yeah. Yep. I am. Um, I think that I may have to, if I'm being honest, I may have to. Guys, I got to go get AJ because Brock was Brock. You know, he got banged up a couple times last year. Um, I think that AJ is a guy that can come in and and block like an extra tackle. Um, I like him on the developmental upside. Give me AJ. You don't go to the University of Michigan and not know how to run block or pass Period. block. Period. And he's a big body. 249. Last forty final pick, two forty nine, and uh, guys, I'm probably gonna surprise you here. He, if he's even still on the board, yep, sure is, sure is. He had a visit. If you watch the film, this is a guy that kind of reminds me of a guy that's already playing for the Detroit Lions. He's our third string running back right now. His game is very similar except i think he's got a little more in the tank and he's he's got fresher legs uh none other than cody schrader um out of missouri come be a detroit lion buddy 
Come here, Detroit. Hard, hard runner. Hard, hard. I think he's. I think he was Missouri's all-time leading rusher, if I'm not mistaken. Big facts. Big facts. Dog. Dog. So we're looking at Darius Robinson. We're looking at Edron Cooper on the same football team. We're looking at Roman Wilson. We're looking at Mason McCormick, Nehemiah Pritchett, Sione Vaki, uh, AJ Barner, and, Col- and Cody Schrader. Steve, how did I do, man? Absolutely failed. What? Absolutely failed. Well, what? Here's the thing. I think I'm just kidding. You didn't actually fail, but <laughs> we are going to start with the elephant in the room. We're going to start with that trade. I think a lot of people are not going to be happy with giving up a future first round pick to acquire a second round pick. And I get it. It's late, but I'm going to let you defend yourself. This was your draft. I'm just Absolutely. trying to I'm uh, I'm just thinking of what the people are going to say here. They're not going to be happy about that. So justify hey. your trade. Hey, my my trade is this. When we're winning the Super Bowl, you're not going to be thinking about that trade. Right? You're not going to be thinking about that trade when. Edron Cooper and Darius Robinson are killing people live on TV. You're not going to be thinking about that trade at all. You're not going to be thinking about that trade. All you're going to be thinking about is the the parade that's going through Detroit and how they keep the news channels keep coming to the tiger because Steve won't get out of it because we won the Super Bowl. And that's what he promised. (laughs) He's living in a tiger. Steve, when we talk about, uh, drafting and being aggressive for for and being great for a decade i don't know what our weak point is after this draft i don't know what our weak point is because we got young dogs everywhere we got our edge rush answered right we got our linebacker situation answered we got our secondary situation answered right we got our safety situation answered right offensive line answered we got depth right we got another weapon at receiver that just fits the Detroit Lions. I don't know what the weakness is here. I don't know what the weakness is. I I said it once. I'll say it again. I don't give a darn. I don't give a darn about 2025. We're talking about pick 32. Do I care about pick 32? Right. Right. Essentially a second rounder. It's darn near a second round pick. So what did I do? I gave up a second round pick, right, to get a second round pick, essentially. Right. I say we be aggressive. I say we make sure that the world knows 2024 draft in Detroit is where the Detroit Lions went from being a good team to a great team for a whole decade. And maybe maybe we start to turn this thing around to where we're just good, period. We're just one of those teams that you think about as being synonymous with being a good, a great football team. If you got Dedrin, or if you got Edron Cooper, you got Darius Robinson, you got DJ Reader, you got Aleem McNeil, Aiden Hutchinson, Brian Branch, Kirby Joseph, Ify Melifonwu, Carlton Davis, Amik Roberson, Emmanuel Mosley, right? Maybe Tracy Walker if we're, if we're smart enough to go sign him, right? We got this starting offensive line that's one of the best in the league, if not the best in the league, with Mason McCormick sitting on the be- bench, right? Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Mm. I'll tell you this. Mm. Roman Wilson. I was going to say, I, I think my favorite pick that you made was probably the Roman Wilson trade because in your first two picks, you address the defense. That's what I need taken care of. I like that. I give that a, you know, I'm not, I'm not overly high on Darius Robinson, but I am super high on Edron Cooper. Um, to me, it doesn't matter what position you draft them at because they're both on the team. So it doesn't really matter. Positional value is the same thing as we ran into last year with Jameer Gibbs, Sam Laporta, Brian Branch. Mm-hmm. We didn't like them. A lot of people didn't like them where they were drafted. But if you sw- flip flop those orders on, 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 on all three of those guys, everyone would have been fine with it. So I'll give it a I'll give it a solid, solid B plus. Okay, I like I the Roman. Will, I, I like the Roman Wilson pick, though, because you, you in your first two picks, you fix the defense immediately uh, upgraded the pass rush even though I'm not high on D-Rob. I love Edger and Cooper. I think he brings a lot of speed to the, to the defense as a whole, someone you can use as a spy to cover running backs, tight ends, slot receivers, blitz off the edge, blitz up the middle. Like He's a Swiss Army knife that can do a lot of things. Roman Wilson, elite speed, elite hands, elite route running, uh, total package to complement Jamison Williams, Amonra St. Brown, Sam Laporta. Don't know how you cover all those guys. Mm-hmm. Donovan Peoples-Jones, don't know how you cover them. Best offensive line of football, Jameer Gibbs, David Montgomery. Offense, absolutely scary. 
The only thing I'll knock you on, Will, only, only knock, just a little, little, little teacher's note. Hey, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll send a B-plus to home to Mrs. Ford, but I'll say, hey, maybe, I don't know, I think he could have fixed the offensive line a little bit more instead of just one guard. I get it. Hey, I, I can I can definitely take that. You know I love the offensive line. I love these big dogs up front. But, hey, maybe next year with our, our second-round mm-hmm. pick or our third-round pick, you know, maybe we address that next season. Until you, you know. trade those away and we don't have any picks next year? Just Hey, <laughs> hey Steve, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. I, I, I would have traded – I would trade a first and a third rounder to go get pick 33 and pick 101. I want it right now. That's how bad I want it, man. That's how bad I want it. I want it right now. I don't give a darn about 2025 draft. I keep saying it, and, I, and I'll say it again. I don't give a darn about that. Let's go get these guys right now. Everybody wants to talk about how there, there's dudes in the draft next year. I, I'm not worried about those dudes. I'm worried about the dudes that's going to be on these Detroit Lions right now. If you're telling me Darius Robinson and Edron Cooper can be on my team and Robin Wilson and Mason McCormick, right? It's uh And, guys, I, I don't want to – uh just leave it at that. I don't, I, I know that there's a world where these guys might not all fall like this. This wasn't a, this wasn't a situation where it had to be these guys. It's a situation where it has to be these handful of guys though, as they fall. So if it wasn't going to be Roman Wilson, I'm going to tell you it was going to be Javon Baker. It was going to be Malachi Corley, right? If it wasn't going to be Mason McCormick, it was going to be Christian Mahogany. It was going to be Zach Zinner. It was going to be uh Christian Hayes. Right. There's dudes. This isn't a fluke. This is this mindset isn't a fluke. Right. It, it, it is where I'm at. Right. Right. It was going to be if it wasn't going to be uh, Edron Cooper in my it was going to be Junior Colson or Peyton Wilson. Right. There there is pieces to this puzzle that the guys have to. There's only so many players that you can take 31 to be exactly right. Right. Or. Uh, as as we say here, you can only take 28 players before the Detroit Lions. And there's dudes that I want, right? There's dudes that I want. So, and then there's another way that I had a thought process too. If if the offensive linemen were there and Darius Robinson went early, Latu went early versus Dallas Turner, like there was another route too where maybe I go offensive line first and I do go get Graham Barton or Jackson Powers Johnson first and I flip this thing around and do it a different way. But I say it to say this, the bottom line is I want Brad Holmes to say, F that 2025. Let's go make this team great right now. Let's get more pieces to this puzzle. Let's be aggressive. There's teams out there. If it wasn't the Carolina Panthers, maybe it's the Washington Redskins who pick up. Oh, easy with that Redskins oh, talk. Jeez, sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm just saying that there's other guys out there. <laughs> like uh, Kansas City Chiefs is another one. They're picking at 32. Maybe we call them and say, hey, guys, I know you guys probably want a Donnie Mitchell or Xavier Worthy or whoever's left. Xavier Liggett. Hey, you want to bump up to? You know, pick 29. Let's do business. Let's let's talk some business. So there, there's options there. And what I want Brad Holmes to do is be aggressive and uh go get your guys, man. Go get your man. Guys, this was just Will's mock draft. All right. Not bad. I give him a B plus. I think he could well, you don't me. I would like to say you don't give out A's. So a B plus I don't, is the I don't best give out I can get. I don't, so I, I know, I know. But you know, hey, hey, don't mouth off to the teacher. I'll knock that down to a B minus young sorry, man. Sorry, yeah, sorry, I'll, sorry. I'll paddle butts. <laughs> um I just wish that O-line would got fixed a little bit more because you've been preaching that all, all, all off season. You know, got to keep the O-line intact for the next few years just to go out and get one guard question mark there. I think you're going to get hammered on that trade. Well, I hope you're ready. A lot of people are not going to be happy. Man. Like I said, I don't give, I'd have gave a third round pick a first and a third, but guys, this was just Will's mock draft. Now tomorrow, if you want to see a master chef at work, if you want to oh, see, God. if you want to see just, fine filet mignon getting sizzled <laughs> you'll hit that subscribe button and you'll see stevie p's mock draft tomorrow morning at 7 a.m where the chef's gonna get in the kitchen and me and brad holmes are gonna be doing a little cooking hit that subscribe button leave some comments if you're new here stick around love to have you as a follower we'll be back later with some more content guys peace <laughs>